I've been continually surprised, amazed, and comforted really that there are those families out there that are raising these young adults that get here who change before your eyes in very astounding ways and really teach some of their professors about life. It's been a pretty rich experience, obviously. Yeah, a bunch of sophomores, about six or eight of them, just invited Cindy and me to supper, very simple supper out in Phillips. That was just such a reminder of our early days. We arrived, we we're 32 years old, we're very close to students in age. Uh, we tended to do quite a bit of that, have students to our house, uh, be at supper with students, and we were saying, man, what kind of resonance is this to be doing this in our 30th year? Snowden and its uh, inhabitants are a classic example of what remains the same and what changes in a very positive way. Well, we're trying to build a building that's really consistent with the ethic of the department and the emerging ethic of the university with sustainability and so forth. So the fact that we go gold or even in a, a dream, platinum. Is that lead? Yeah, so we lead gold or platinum. Platinum has never been thought of until recently. And then we started looking at all these things we're doing, man. It's amazing in terms of using local materials. This is pine from the domain. And if you look along these walls here, we have space for this to be mounted right on the edge of the wall all the way along. So we're, we're fortunate to have the resonance of a real local product right, right here in the building. Here's the old building right here. And this, this new building that we've been looking at is an echo of the old building. You see all those old rocks and featured in those old rocks are some of those same fossils, same trace fossils. So it's a great resonance between old and new building to have uh, these impressions of critters that were crawling through the sand 300 million years ago in both buildings. Yeah. Our department, as a microcosm, mirrors this larger trend, which is more opportunities for students. As we've hired more faculty members with a greater number of disciplines and specialties and so forth, so the pot of opportunities has been enlarged for all these undergrads. The number of different kinds of majors has blossomed and as a result, I think we're able to attract and retain really good people.